Mara's Life here. I hope everyone had a blessed day. I want to talk today about getting the love you want. All right. So it is day 13. This is my lucky number. So. She made this. How can you fix your marriage? You embarrassed. They be laughing at all them broken promises and flowers. Don't be passionate. back. You can get this course for no divorce. So just imagine that. 12 weeks of my life will save you from the avalanche. How can you fix your marriage? You can fix your marriage. How can you fix your marriage? How can you, you know, this is a very special day. And really, what we're going to do today, what we put to the forefront of our minds, what we put in action today is the most powerful force in getting the love that you want. All right. So I know you've all been waiting for it. What is that force that gets you the love that you want? It is giving. Okay. So a lot of times we are bogged down in negativity. We are just bogged down in negativity. Just think about that. Giving the love you want will get you the love that you want. Boom. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, okay. So just think about, let's talk about a couple. Okay. If you're in a relationship and all you see is that person's negative flaws, the way they click their fork against their plate, the way they check their phone when they're at the table, the way they leave their clothes in the bathroom, the way they, um, I don't know, communicate with others, the way they, you know, talk to the kids. Whatever it is that you found or really gets under your skin, these traits, these characteristics, these behaviors, because remember, you fell in love with the person. What it is that you don't like is their behaviors, okay? So separate it out. That person is that person. That person and their personality is what that person's personality is. That's a tongue twister. But just know that the behaviors are what you really don't like, okay? So behaviors. So we think a lot about all those negative aspects. Oh, it's been five years. We're not connecting. Everything, they don't listen to me. I've never heard. There's something wrong with them. They can't concentrate. They don't think ahead. They don't appreciate me. They're not paying attention to me. They're not doing this. They're not doing that, right? And you spend five years, you spend however much time griping about what is wrong what is negative about that person? What is negative about that situation? You know, there's so much duality right now with everything that's in the political, societal, family, friendships, any type of relationships. You know, we can gripe about it. You're at work. You know, my boss says this. My boss does that. Did you did you know that the company made this decision and transferred this one to the department? And everything they do here is all bad, right? So, if you really want to get the love that you want, you have to give it. And it really starts with taking a step back and saying, you know what? I may not like the way they click their fork on their plate. But I do like the fact that they do wash their dish every night after dinner. I really appreciate that. Even if it's something as small or something seemingly insignificant as that. If you can step to that person and acknowledge that, they're going to be taken back. Because just think about that. If you spent the last five years griping about everything that's wrong, everything that's wrong. If you spent all that time griping on everything that's wrong, when you approach that person and tell them that, you know what, I love the way you make sure I have everything I need before I go to bed, they're going to be like, whoa, what is she on today? What is he on today? If you walk into work and 
And instead of, you know, complaining to your colleagues about your supervisor, you make a statement like, you know, certain behaviors I don't like, but I do appreciate that this person stands up for our team with upper management. It's going to blow everyone's mind. It's going to take them for a loop, honestly. You know, when you change that momentum and redirect things in a way that's, you know, I'm going to give the love that I want. You know, think about it. There's five love languages. Daniel Chapman, read the books. They got love languages for work, for children, for family, for couples, all of the above. And there's five. So there's quality time, gifts, words of affirmation, physical touch, and acts of service, right? So those are the five love languages. If you feel like, man, my partner never does anything for me around the house. My partner never says anything nice to me. I never get gifts for my birthday. I never, you know, get that physical touch that I really desire. If all of these things cross your mind and you're like, I need love, start giving it. If what you want are words of affirmation, shower that person with words of affirmation for a day and see if things change. Ask it and is given. Okay, so really you have to be mindful to, you know, give cheerfully. And the love that you want will start building momentum and headed in your direction because everything is energy. So how are you going to receive energy back if you don't know how to give that energy out to yourself? If you don't even know how to treat yourself with that energy, if you don't know how to treat others with that energy, how do you expect to receive that energy back into your life? So day 13, I love you. I just want to encourage you to really, you know, think outside the box. Think outside of what you normally do. Go beyond your normal patterns and do something different. Because the object of insanity is, you know, to keep doing the same thing. It really is true. So give the love you want and you will get the love you want. Myers Life. There is always something left to love. And if you ain't learned that, you ain't learned nothing. Underscore Lorraine Hansberry. As we fight through those power struggles, we may come to a place where we can only see the negative. We become experts on their flaws, we could go on for hours about the nasty things they say, their lack of fairness, their bad breath, their compulsive gum chewing, the nights they didn't come home until late. We can't remember what we ever loved. This is a dangerous place to be. The negativity will push away everything that in your heart you truly desire. Can you find something salvageable to build on? When we are up to our necks in negativity we may think we have lost what we once loved in our partners, but this loss is largely a matter of perception. Those people and situation are the same as when you met them, their behaviors are merely reflecting the anger and unhappiness. What we need to do is to love love any little thing, in any way that we can. We can love the way they clean their plate, or the cute way they yawn, the way they tuck their shirt in, etc. If we can find something that is still lovable, we learn that loving itself, not what we love, is what will rescue us from our pain. No matter how troubled your life is, find something to love in your situation today. Visualize it in your mind, go out of your way to notice it. Tonight, say out loud, I love you because. I acknowledge all aspects of my life. I celebrate this insight, whenever I love the unlovable, I love the same in myself. Ma's life. Ma's life. Yeah, check out the new merch. Get your family dripped up and draped out in the new merch. Ha, ah, yeah. That drip is here, that drip is here, that drip is here, that drip is here, the source, the source, the drip is here, the sun is so short, man, this drip is here, we got the leggings for the lady drip, it's here, we got the leggings for the lady drip, it's here, the sun is so short, the drip is here, the sun is so short, the drip is here, sauce's brain shirts, man, that shirt is so tight, man, that shirt is so tight. 
Don't mess up my vibe. Don't mess up my vibe. That shirt is so live, man. Don't mess up my vibe. You can see the vibrations on the front. You can raise your, raise your vibrations on the front. You ain't got to worry about it. You can get some socks. You can get some socks. You can get some socks. The drip is so live. The drip is so live. Don't mess up my vibe. Don't mess up my vibe. My's life. My's life. The drip is so vibe. The drip is so live. The drip is so live. Don't mess up my vibe, man. This shirt is so live. The sun is so shirt. The sun is so shirt. Man, that shirt is so live. Man, that shirt is so live. Don't mess up my vibe. Don't mess up my vibe. The the merch is here, the merch is here, my life, my life, man, that merch is here, man, get your shirt, shirt, get your shirt, 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 get your shirt, 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 get your shirt, 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 man, don't mess up my vibe, that shirt is so live, don't mess up my vibe, that shirt is so live, get some socks, get some socks, you can get a doll shirt, you can get your doll shirt, you can get your doll shirt, that mess up my vibe, man, that shirt is so live, don't mess up my vibe, that shirt is so live, son. Sun of sauce, sun of sauce, sun of sun of sauce, sun of sudden sauce, sun of sudden sauce, the source healing center shirt. Mind, body, and soul, mind, body, and soul. Let your family get draped up in the drape. Let your family get dripped, dripped in the drape. Hey, that shirt is so loud. Don't mess up my vibes, my life, my life. The merch, merch is here. The merch, merch is here. The merch, merch is here. Hey.